Hello YouTube friends, how you doing? You're looking for an alternative for contact and you don't know what program to use. I want to recommend you this standalone program just called UBI Falcon or Falcon UBI. And it's very similar, it uses libraries to um to, you know, just like contact um and it's standalone. You don't need to use a uh, DAW or any other program. And it sounds amazing. And I want to show you, um, I just started playing with this. This is some libraries that, um, that we have for, for where we play, where I play at church. And this is the libraries that we're being using. But I want to show you this one right here. It's called Ravencroft 275. And I have this in my iPad and it sounds amazing. So let me show you what it sounds like. And it loads right away which is crazy sometimes it takes a little bit longer on contact to read them and sometimes it doesn't read it with the newer version now a lot of my libraries don't work and it's been a little bit hectic with uh, version 7 I, and i had version 6 some of them work some of them work and then you know i was like man i wish there was another option so i came across this and let me show you this this is the ravencroft piano and this one here i really like the pads on this so let me use to my favorite which is the basic 90s this is part of the expansion of falcon and this one here which is called warmth um and they're pretty heavy so what do you do let's just say like contact it has the a1 a2 a3 a4 let's just uh put them all on a1 that's the midi uh, channel MIDI channel one and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mute or lower the volume here instead of muting and I'm gonna bring them up I don't need this one I don't know what's in there there's nothing in there in the Ravencroft and I really like this plugin here so you have this is how you change all your features it's very simple but what I love about it is that you can turn on this microphones like this is the player's view the microphones like if you're sitting in front of the piano you get a room microphone or two microphones in the room to give you depth and then you have a side microphone on the piano to give you a little bit more uh, three-dimensional sound on it and the original one comes with the microphones inside the piano instead of using all the libraries you just have them here it's very simple and yeah, you know you can put um, uh, more of your uh, what of your reverb, close piano, open piano, it's pretty cool, all the things you can do with it. Um, but I just keep it there and um, I'm gonna put the volume a little bit higher. And you know, you can pan it, you can MIDI controller. If you have a MIDI controller, you can just go in here and MIDI learn. There's lots you can do with this. I really like it. If you don't have, if you have a Windows PC like I do, you don't have access to main stage, this is, and you don't wanna use contact anymore. I think this is the next best thing and and i've been using it for for a few days and i i'm just uh, extremely surprised the quality of sounds not just the libraries but the quality and how they um uh how they sound uh, we got a lot of new ones like we just got this um key suite which we got the acoustic the, the digital the electric um we got uh this um Electro pianos that sound amazing. V tines and V reads, which the library is very small. The organ's amazing. We have another one. We have a uh, mug. It's called the Mini. Where is it? It's called the Mini. Where is it? Um, we frame the Ultra Mini, which is a mini mug. It's amazing. Um, this is another one. Great one. Another piano. Uh, I I can't say a lot of great things about this and you get your factory you get a lot of pads this is just the factory is insane um you get a lot of good stuff in here um if you want to try it but let's go with this because these are my favorite this is my favorite sound so far right now all right so what i'm going to do i'm going to start with the piano i'm going to start with all the microphones on and then i'm going to turn them off and i'm going to show you what's my favorite uh way to use it so this is the piano I 
like how it responds in the low end. Um, it's something that I like personally, just because the low end gets me like a lot of feedback in my in ears. So I like plugins that just respond right away. Um, nothing's gonna sound like an actual acoustic piano in front of it. So this is one of my favorites for some reason. Um, and then let's turn off the ambient microphone. Let's just turn it off there. So let me turn it, on, turn it off here. And it sounds like this. And then it sounds a little more focused. And it sounds great. Now let's turn off the side microphone and it sounds like this. And then now it sounds even more focused because it's only the player's perspective and the inside of the piano. And if you just want to cut through, then I would just use the close, which is the inside mics inside the piano. And it sounds like this. The low end is more responsive and it sounds great. I think that this is where, what we are a little more used to, but Two of the ways that I like to use it, especially for practice, is I like either turn on the side one or I turn on the player side. Um, for this um, demonstration, I'm just going to leave the player just to give me a little bit more of like three dimensional sound. I think this is one of my favorite because it still retains a low end response. And in my in ears, it just gives me this um, perspective of three dimensional sound and sitting in front of a piano. Great. So let's mute that and let's talk about the pads because I love it. Um, let me put the first one. It's called Warmth. And this is from the Atmospherics Library, which is very light. It's insane. Not even a gag. And you have really good quality um, pads in here. Just the pads itself, it's worth it. So let me put this Warmth pad and just, just listen to what it sounds like. And it sounds like this. Ah. Uh, First time I heard it, I was like, yes! Oh, my goodness. It might not sound like much. But wait until I add the next pad. And this is the uh, 90s basic. Which it has a little bit of shimmer to it. And then once you introduce the piano, it makes a huge difference now. You can hear how it cuts through so great. And it feels really good when you play it. It gives you a lot of dynamics. It has a lot of feedback when you play, which I really like. It's like immediate, it's responsive. Um, now, something that I found with this Ravencroft that I use on my iPad is very similar but better is this MIDI curve. Now, if instead of using compression to play, and also I want a brighter, like more aggressive sounding or more rock. I just turn on the radio, the, uh, the MIDI curve a little bit more aggressive. So let me do a little bit. 
and I'm going to play the same velocity. And I'm going to just pump it up a little. It's a little bit more aggressive, but not necessarily overpowering. And that helps me cut through a little bit more. And if I want to be a little bit more mellow, I just put it, let's say, a little bit here for opening prayer. So this one, I have it assigned to MIDI controller where I can put a little bit more um, aggressive or a little bit lighter. And that makes, instead of changing patches, I can just do this and just be super happy with the way it sounds without having to change a patch. And with the pad and everything, it just sounds amazing. And you have really amazing plugins like one other of my favorite it's uh this this one here what's called um bohemian cello is just amazing and let me just show you real quick it's, it looks it's very simple and it's a pretty heavy library i think it's like around 11 gigs but the expression it has that's what i'm so excited about this software um because it just has so much potential. Um, let it wait low. This is a pretty heavy library. Just like using in contact, you can put mini controls in here, which is a little bit simpler to my taste. But let's just say mute, 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 mute. And you have then your Bohemian Shallow. And just listen to this. I'm, I'm just going to press one key at a time. Oh, I got to sign it first. So A5, I want it right here. One. And I can use my sustain pedal. And it holds it. Or I can let go. Did you hear that from here to here? <laughs> Just... As soon as I played it, I was like, no way. No. <laughs> what was that? And then you have different modifications here of the way it responds, uh, which is great. So let's use this one here. So that sounds great. <laughs> so as soon as I let go, it cuts it off. I'm just very inspired when I heard this. I was like, huh, you know, I can now play this lower part. go and response it i really like this is one of my favorite libraries just the cello and it sounds amazing i can find so many ways to use it for intros and to add layers to the sound um and you know i just want to share with you today the organ is amazing um i have this one the b5 organ and then i have this other one um where are you which is called uh, retro organ which is amazing um you got this one is amazing by gospel musician neo soul keys oh my goodness that that's an amazing um modern worship uh electric piano and this two right here the v times and the v reads they're just insanely cool and this one here is cool because the ultra mini is based on a mini mug so for for when i play bass 
and sometimes I want to have like a bass uh, uh, synth sound, I've been using this one and it's pretty cool. So I'll be making more videos about this. Let me know if you liked it. Um, uh, if you're using it, um, I would like to know um, if you have any ideas, what other libraries you would recommend. If you like this, if you never heard of this, let me know as well. So I'll see you in another video. God bless you and I'll see you soon. Take care. Ciao.